You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for Redbud, Circus canadensis. Redbud, sometimes cultivated for a deeper, richer color of its flowers, shares those flowers in early spring and its bright yellow leaves in the fall. Redbud is a popular landscape plant, which can also be seen as a 30 to 60 foot understory tree in the woods of Central and Eastern North America. Let's start by studying redbud in late winter and early spring. Buds grow from branchlets, branches, and the tree's trunk, usually above a previous year's leaf scar. When spring's cold weather breaks, the flower bud scales expand and the bright red flower buds appear at the tip. Notice how the red bud's branch can be covered with expanding flower buds. Gradually, the lighter pink flower petals appear above the darker pink sepals. Each flower bud now extends from a small stalk, a pedicel. A red bud tree covered in buds is as beautiful as the tree will become when it's covered in flowers. Here's a close view of the flower bud with its developing sepals and petals. And its pedicel emerging from the flower bud scales. Here and there along the branches, a flower bud begins to open. Now the red bud is covered in masses of pink blossoms. On warm, sunny days, the flowers attract a variety of bees. The large numbers of buzzing bees can be heard from quite a distance. Let's look more closely at Redbud's pea-like flower. First, the top petals unfold. From the back side, we can see the pedicel, the darker sepals, and the upper petals. Redbud's flower has two banner petals, two fused petals which make up the wing, and two keel petals. Again, the banner, wing, and keel. The pink petals are veined with white. The anther portion of the stamens peaks above the flower's keel. When the petals spread apart a bit, we can see the stamens with their anthers. Here we can see the filaments along with the anthers. Moving back just a bit, notice how many flowers in this image have their stamens showing. The stamens may be more visible as the flower petals begin to shrivel. The flowers die. If the flower was not fertilized, only the pedicel remains for a while longer. If the flower did become fertilized, then a long skinny piece of tissue hangs from the pedicel. This is the newly developing seed pod, surrounded by dried stamens and petals. This image shows us empty pedicels, fertilized flowers, new seed pods, and new leaves. While redbud's flowers were opening and attracting pollinators, the leaf buds began to expand. Tiny leaves push out from their leaf scales along the branch. At first, the leaves look folded in half. They are lime green with a hint of red. The leaves at the periphery of the branch, furthest from the redbud's trunk, develop first. Then, leaves open along the stem, moving toward the center of the tree. 
When the leaves open, they still have the fresh green and red coloration. Eventually, leaves lose their red color and become entirely green. Redbud leaves exhibit palmate venation. The primary veins grow from a central point near the base of the leaf. The leaf is heart-shaped with a bluntly pointed tip and a smooth or entire margin. The newest leaves on the right have the red tinge. Leaves in the middle are green on their top surface. Leaves on the left show their reverse side, which is lighter in color. This year's growth extends with a fresh green stem from the previous year's brown branch. Leaves grow alternately along the branch, which leads to a zigzag appearance of the branch. Here's the underside of a leaf, with its blade as well as its petiole, or leaf stalk. The petiole is swollen or thicker near the base of the leaf blade, as well as near the node, the point of attachment to the branch. Looking down on a profusion of redbud leaves during the summer. Throughout the summer months, new leaves continue to grow from the tips of existing branches. Let's go back to those developing seed pods in the spring. Here they are, growing with dried flowers hanging on at the pedicel. The green pods are long and narrow, with pointed tips at both ends of the pod. In a year with successful fertilization, dozens of pods hang from the branches. With the sun behind the pod, it looks almost translucent. As the green pods mature, they are not as easy to see among the leaves. You have to look upwards from underneath the branches to find them. Each pod hangs from the branch using the flower's pedicel. Now the backlit pods show their seeds inside the pod. The seeds cause the flat pod to look lumpy. During the summer, while the seeds are growing in their pods, the redbud tree also grows new flower buds along the branches for next spring's flowers. The pods change color from green to brown to dark brown. They also become brittle. The brown pods hang from the branches through fall and into the winter season. Here's a pod which is not quite fully dried and brown. When it is opened, we can see the redbud seeds. The mottled green and brown seeds are finishing their drying process while the dark brown seeds are fully mature. See how the pod shows the hollows where the seeds have grown? Reportedly, seeds can remain viable in the soil for several years before germinating. Now that the pods are brown, the leaves begin changing. It's the fall season and redbud leaves turn yellow. Observe how the leaves nearest the center of the tree turn yellow first, and then the outermost leaves turn color. This is the reverse sequence from how the leaves opened along the branches in the spring. Similarly, the innermost leaves fall from the tree before the outer ones drop. Redbud stems and branches are brown, sometimes reddish brown, with white lenticels marking the branch. As the tree grows larger over the years, the trunk's bark stretches and develops furrows revealing a red or orange-red bark layer behind the scaly plates. During winter, you can see the very small leaf bud with its two protective scales. The leaf bud lies just above a leaf scar with its bundle scars. You can also see the much larger flower bud with its five to eight overlapping scales. Flower buds and leaf buds await the warmer weather of spring to open and reveal their beauty. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Cursus canadensis, also known as redbud. 
Visit IdentifyThatPlant.com for more images of Redbud, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.